biological machines, including the bacterial flagellum. All told, there are about 40 different protein parts which are necessary for this machine to work. And if any of those parts are missing, uh, then either you get a flagellum that doesn't work because it's missing the hook or it's missing the drive shaft or whatever, or it doesn't even get built within the cell. You can't put something like that together gradually because they need a large number of parts interacting with each other at the same time before they work at all. Without the tools to observe the machinery of the cell, and long before the idea of irreducible complexity, Charles Darwin offered a way to test his own theory. In Origin of Species, he wrote, if it could be demonstrated that any complex organ existed, which could not possibly have been formed by numerous, successive, slight modifications, my theory would absolutely break down. Darwin acknowledged that if someone identified a biological system that could not have been constructed in incremental steps over long periods of time, then his theory would be invalid. And what Michael Behe and others have discovered is the existence of biological machinery that cannot be explained away by Darwinian processes. Darwin's failed predictions have in fact falsified his own theory.